Today we're going to be working on a Cossack. It's a Russian style woman's fur hat. Uh, it has no flaps, no brim. It's just basically one circle of fur and then a strip that's sewed to the side. Um, we also put a lining inside of it and for the padding we'll use a moving blanket. That's what I use uh, most of the time with all of my hats. It's soft and it's pretty warm. It'll also absorb any moisture. We layer that in with uh, whichever fabric you prefer for the inside lining and then fur. Uh, this one I made for my wife from a coyote we had disposed of uh, while bow hunting but I'm going to be making another one today and show you how it's done. This hide was given to me by a friend of the family. He shot it during rifle season, uh, during whitetail hunting, and he knew that I had done other things with other hides. So we pickle tanned this, turned out pretty good, nice and soft. I've done only pickle tanning so far uh, successfully, and including multiple animals, rabbits mainly, but also squirrels turn out pretty good. I've done one fox. This is the second coyote that I did. I'll be working on a raccoon, trying that out too. I'll try to post a video of the pickle tanning process as well. So with this uh, skin that was dropped off, there is one hole in it here that I'll have to mend before we incorporate that into the hat. But as you can see, the hide is pretty soft. Uh, one of the main things when building a hat is the direction of the hair, the fur. So if you cut your shapes at the wrong spot, then your hair direction might be going in the wrong direction when you put it together. So before you cut out your shapes, always measure, remeasure, consider the hair, and then I will typically lay it, uh, once I get it where I want it, I'll lay it out on the skin side, the flesh side of the fur, and use a permanent marker, and then just use a utility knife. Uh, don't use scissors because that'll actually cut through the hair as well, where the utility knife you can just cut through the leather for the skin, and the hair still stays intact.
key to making a good hat is to try on every little bit as you make it. My wife makes one of me, but it's going to be a little big right now. This is going to be folded up to meet the seam of the fur. And we are at the point now, it's still a little big, we're going to put some elastic on it so that it will fit heads of all sizes. Alright, so we put the elastic on. As you can see now, it's a tight, tight fit. Even on my big head, so somebody with a normal size head should fit pretty good. Uh, in the back there, we just sewed two strips of um, elastic on each side so that it does kind of fold up and then as you wear it, it will stretch out and lay flat. hair side down so we have a seam and then we took the circle hair to hair so that all the way around so now we'll flip this inside out and there you go you've got the outer part of your hat Alright, we've got the finished product here, uh, it's got that lining on the inside, again you can't really see any of the stitching the way that we did it, um, complete, and because of the elastic it'll fit someone's head as big as mine or as small as you need. Oh boy.